Welcome back to First News this morning. Youngstown's mayor has had a busy first few months in office. He has an aggressive agenda, including another meeting regarding his five minutes with the mayor sessions. That's right. Well, you know, today's five minutes with the mayor. If you want to take that, Mayor John McNally joining us live in studio because we're going to take five minutes with the mayor this morning. Good morning, Ask everybody. Ask you a bunch of questions. The first one is about the program itself. Mm -hmm. Now, you developed this after you saw it somewhere else, another city. Yeah, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh -huh. I'm the mayor down there. I've been doing it for 27 years, and I thought it was a an interesting way to connect with people in mm -hmm. the city and, and non-residents alike and so this will be our third edition of uh, right. five minutes with the mayor tonight five o'clock at uh, tonight. in the mayor's office first floor city hall okay so you've been doing it a couple times the question i have for you is is there anything that stands out in your mind that the these couple of sessions with just anybody who wants to come in did for you personally is you know uh, something to focus on uh, i don't know if there's anything particularly to focus on but i think the one thing that i've noticed is that the residents of our city want to be able to know who their mayor is. And so I think you've just, you know, I had 25 people there the first time, 28 the second, only three repeat uh, individuals oh. from one to another. Mm -hmm. um, and everywhere I've gone in the community and outside of the city, a lot of people said, hey, it's a great idea to connect with people. So right. the, the discussions we have are usually on what I would say are the mund more mundane issues, you know, potholes, snow plowing, conditions of sidewalks, but right. <clears throat> they're all issues that our residents have concerns about, mm -hmm. and I think they want to see the mayor take some action on those issues. So you take your notes. Oh yeah, we have, I have an assistant in with me. Okay. I take notes, she takes notes, and she transcribes some things up for me. Okay. Um, so we have a chart to follow from uh, meeting to meeting. Okay. You talk a lot about the uh, local economy, you know, creating jobs <laughs> and creating better lives for, you know, for, for residents. Right. Um, we had the announcement from VAM uh, USA uh, talking about their $81 million investment. Yeah. How, how big of a, a role do you play in these projects that, you know, potentially can come to Youngstown? Yeah, I think the mayor's role in those types of issues is sort of is to be the ch chief cheerleader for the city of Youngstown. Obviously, uh, the mayor's office helps make final decisions on language and agreements and everything like that. But the mayor's office really is there to push and prod people along and encourage as many folks and businesses to be interested in the city of Youngstown. Uh, and that's one of the, uh, I think, the most important goals the mayor has to focus on. Mm -hmm. yeah, stre oh, I was going to say, strengthening the downtown area. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of businesses seem to be moving in. A lot of the restaurants doing particularly well right now with right. how the Cavalli Center is doing. There's a new program you're talking about, Online Youngstown, to try to help smaller businesses. Yeah, it's one thing we're going to roll out in the next couple months is an online Youngstown program. It's mm -hmm. something that uh, Google actually helps sponsor across the country with municipalities. And they put, they're going to be working with us to put together a, a packet of information to encourage small businesses in the city of Youngstown to get online. Mm -hmm. uh, their, their research shows that 47% of businesses will... Er, Businesses will see a 47% increase in profits over time mm -hmm. as they get online. And so we want to encourage uh, business owners in the city and outside the city to get online. And we're going to be rolling that out in the well, month of April. Will it cost the small businesses a little <coughs> less? to do that because you know sometimes there's there's cost with uh, managing a website setting up your websites yep. will, will there be help available there will be help there will be help available mm -hmm. and uh, our economic development department uh, Sharon Woodbury is working on that with me now and okay. uh, we're hoping that's a way to you know just help everybody out a little bit here in the city mm -hmm. we know how important a role the downtown plays you guys are getting into the neighborhoods too a lot of neighborhood meetings taking place we know there was some contention at some of them particularly the east side <coughs> meetings residents saying hey we want more resources coming to us Correct. How are you going to work to kind of, you know, bring equality, you know, to all, all wards of the city? You know, that's a very difficult question in the term equality um, in how we help each side of town or each neighborhood. I don't, there's never going to be perfect equality. During our campaign, we talked about tipping point neighborhoods and neighborhoods that are mm -hmm. sort of can go either way mm -hmm. right now. And, and we're going to focus on those neighborhoods. And so if it's code enforcement, we're going to focus on code enforcement. Uh, if it's improving streets, we're going to focus on streets. And, but it, not everybody's going to get the same piece of pie every year. And I think, you know, continuing to do that, sort of everybody getting the equal amount of money on certain issues, uh, I don't agree with that. And I think over time, that will be better for the city as a whole. You know, we talked too about how YSU is so involved in, in the city in general. And as YSU goes, so goes the city and vice versa. With this delay, with the presidential search that's going to ensue, and we're waiting again, because you thought you had somebody that you yeah, could work with. I'm sure we all, we all did. And uh, President Dunn, you know, I was looking forward to working with him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, him getting on board and the new mayor coming into office, we were starting to work together on a few initiatives. Uh, I think this sets some things back, uh, unfortunately. Uh, YSU and the city of Youngstown have to be integrally uh, yeah. related, and uh, 
hopefully with the next president that can happen. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, Damon was asking me if I had a, a dog in the race or whatever the particular saying is, but I think uh, <laughs> I would certainly encourage everybody who's interested in the position, right. including anybody who lives up in the city of Akron right now, to get involved and uh, apply if they're interested in the position. Can I ask you real quick about your presence on social media? Has that helped <clears throat> with, with how you run the office? Uh, I think it has. I mean, a lot of folks pay attention to our Twitter feed and, and uh, what I am putting up there. Uh, I think it's just another way to connect with people. And I think mm -hmm. if you're not doing that, if you're in public life, uh, you're missing the boat. Okay. Well, we appreciate the five minutes with the mayor this morning. Good to be here, guys. Thank we you. May, we hope to bring you back. We can make it a monthly event. I'd be happy to do that. Thanks so much, Thanks. Mayor McNally.